What's your opinion on Dr. Pearson? He and I have quite different takes on life and death, to put it lightly. But alas, a man of my age needs to see a physician regularly to keep the Grim Reaper at bay. So I grit my teeth and endure half an hour of his morbid humor for the sake of my health. What do you think of Walter? I don't know him well, but he seems like the kind of man who plays the part of the clown to hide a deep wound. Do you know who Leonard Dahl's brother is? I believe his name is Rolf. Quite a shady character, if you ask me. Oh, the gardener, right? Yes, that's him. What can you tell me about Rolf? Not my favorite person. He mocked the Lord when I first met him, and I don't take kindly to that sort of behavior. That's all, for now. Understood. I'll be here if you have more inquiries. I'll keep it to my... I don't want to share that... Do you recognize this woman? I do. That's one of the teachers, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that pretty much sums up what I know about her. That's evidence. Recognize this? I do. Read it even many years ago. Know thy enemy? Something like that. I don't need to mimic him. Oh, the passage led back here. Good. Since I left the door unlocked behind me, I'll be able to come back the same way. There it is, the book from the library. Got it. The Kingdom of God is Within You by Leo Tolstoy. This looks ancient, pre-collapse for sure. A number of pages are marked in the margins, likely to easily find them. Even if one of the marked pages contains the quote I need, there's too much text. I'll need more to go on. Maybe someone who had regular contact with Leonard would know the quote if they saw it. Pretty busy here. Not really a good time to talk. This can't wait. You heard about your brother, right? It's a small town. What do you think? Sorry about your loss, but I really need to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Do you know who Katarina Berg is, the school teacher? She also calls herself Melinda. Sure. I've seen her around, but that's pretty much it. What's your opinion on Commissary Anderson? For a chief of police, he's all right. He's actually fair, unlike some of his underlings. How so? You think they're harassing you? abso friggin -lutely. One little mistake, those guys start hounding you night and day. What do you think of Stina Ruth? I have no idea who that is. Did you know Maya Strand? A bit. She approached me a few months back about refining edible plants into a nutrient paste. I helped her plant some quality fungi for it in exchange for a cut of the harvest. Then she got herself killed, so I guess all of that was a waste of time. That's a morbid way of looking at it. I guess so. I'm sorry about what happened to her, but I still gotta eat. What do you think of Dr. Pearson? I'm trying to stay far away from that wise cracking quack. Quack? You heard me. All I need in terms of medicine, I find in herbs and plants. And Dr. Pearson doesn't take kindly to that? He should mind his own business is all. 
What do you think of Volter? He's kind of alone, isn't he? And coming from me, that's saying a lot. What kind of relationship did you have with your brother? The sibling kind. We weren't enemies, if that's what you're asking. The rest is really none of your business. What can you tell me about yourself, Rob? I'm not in the mood for small talk. Ask your questions so I can get back to work. What do you know about the murder in the museum? Nothing but the talk of the town. That Maya Strand was stabbed by some maniac. What do you know about the conduit? You know I'm a gardener, not an electrician, right? That's not... never mind. I'm sorry, Rolf, but I have to ask you about your brother's death. I know, and I wish I had something to give you, but I don't know what happened. So you have no idea who'd want to kill Leonard? It's gotta be the nut job who killed those other people, right? It's possible, but far from certain. When was the last time you talked to your brother? A week and a half ago, or so. Okay. How did he seem? What did you two discuss? He was his usual self, but what we talked about is private. Look, every little detail matters. What he said could be the key to finding his killer. I'm not gonna betray his trust. If you want to arrest me, go ahead. But that's all I'm gonna say. What can you tell me about the Church of Epos? I know for a fact that your brother was a member. So? That's not a crime. Come on, Rolf, work with me. Don't you want me to catch your brother's killer? <sighs> yes, he was a member, but I'm not. I spent 10 years trying to get him out of that place. Why would you do that? Because he changed. He became this sullen, slow, serious fucking block of a person. He used to be so full of life, you know? I know he died just yesterday, but the Leonard I grew up with, he's been dead for a long time. I understand, Rolf. Thanks for sharing. No, I don't want to tip him off before I figured out the exact quote. That's it, for now. Good. I should keep this to myself. I should keep... I don't think he'd be... Do you know who this is? Sure. It's that teacher, Melinda, right? Yeah. All right. Well, that's all I know about her. Do you recognize this? No. Looks like any other knife to me. Why? That a murder weapon or something? I can't give any more details. Sorry. What do you know about the conduit? You know I'm a guard. That's not... You're back. Sure am. I need to pick your brain about a few more things. Okay. What's up? I'm trying to find a book quote that Leonard Dahl was fond of. You should ask somebody who knew the guy then. I found out that Leonard Dahl was a member of Epos. Really? Yes, really. Anything to say about that? Good riddance, I guess. Epos are a bunch of assholes. That's so? Happen to hate them enough to shred one of them to bits? No. Whoever did that is a sick person. Do you know Rolf, the gardener? I know his name and occupation, but that's about it. All right. I got what I needed for now. Good. Talk. Have you ever seen this book before? Nope. Never been much of a reader, which I guess makes my teaching completely hypocritical. I don't need to know. I don't see how those things. All right, I'm going again. Okay. <laughs> 